everyone. For today's video, we will discuss about the segments formed by the intersecting chords. In this circle, let us draw two intersecting chords here and also name the endpoints and the intersection point of these two chords. So, when two chords intersect, the products of the lengths of the segments of one chord is equal to the products of the lengths of the segments of the other chord. Meaning, if you got to multiply the two segments formed by one chord, which we have here, line segment TO and line segment OR, it must be equal to the products of the segments formed by the other chord, which are line segment SO and line segment OA. Now, for us to understand this theorem better, let's have an example. In example number one, let us give values to this figure. Say, for example, line segment TO is equal to 10 inches. Line segment OR is the unknown value. Line segment SO is equal to 3 inches. And lastly, line segment OA is equal to 5 inches. So for us to solve the missing length of this segment, we just have to copy the formula that we have formulated a while ago. So we just multiply here the segments formed by one chord and equate that one to the products of the segments formed by the other chord. Let's begin solving this one. First step is we have to substitute the values given from the figure. So line segment TO is given to be 10 inches. Since line segment OR is the unknown value, we just have to copy line segment OR and then copy equal sign. Now let us substitute the length of the line segment SO and OA. So we have here 3 inches times 5 inches respectively. Next thing to do is we have to isolate line segment OR. And for us to do that, we have to divide both sides by 10 inches. And dividing 10 inches, it will give us 1 or just simply eliminate that 1. And then it will leave us with our line segment OR. Then copy equal sign. Now you can simplify this one because we have a pair of units in the numerator and denominator. Simplify this one. We have 3 inches times 5. It will give us 15 inches. And then just copy 10. Now for us to get the value of the line segment OR, we just have to divide 15 inches by 10. Now it will give us 1.5 inches. Therefore, the length of the line segment OR is equal to 1.5 inches. Now let us go to the next example. For example number 2, we have this given figure. You will see that we have a mark here. It only means that these two segments have equal length. And for the other chord, the whole chord is equal to 10 centimeters, and one segment is given to be x. So before we get the value of x, we need to identify first the length of the other segment. So for us to get the length of this segment, we use the idea that the whole chord is equal to 10 centimeters, and one segment is given to be x. Therefore, this segment is equal to 10 minus x centimeters. Now we are ready to create a formula. So for the first one, we have to get the product of the two segments of one chord. We have here x times 10 minus x. And then equate that one to the product of the two segments of the other chord, which is 3 and 3. Now let us solve for x. So the first step in solving for x is we have to distribute x here to 10 minus x. So we have here x times 10 that is equal to 10x and then x times negative x is equal to negative x squared copy equal sign and then multiply 3 and 3 that is equal to 9 next step is we need to transpose all these terms from the left side of the equation to the right side of the equation why for us to form a quadratic trinomial so if we will have a quadratic trinomial, it will be easy for us to solve for the values of x. So let's do that one. Now, since we will be emptying the left side, let's just put 0 here. Copy equal sign. Now, upon transposing all of these terms to the right side of the equation, let us also rearrange the terms. So it will be equal to x squared minus 10x. Plus nine. Next step, because this is a quadratic trinomial, 
you have to think of factors of 9 that if you multiply it, it will be equal to 9 and then when you add it will be equal to negative 10. So these are the complete factors of 9. So therefore, we have here the factors of x squared minus 10x plus 9 are x minus 9 and x minus 1. And then let's get the value of x here. So the values of x are 9 and 1. We have two values for x. It could be 9 and it could be 1. So for us to test if these values of x are correct, we need to do checking. For the checking part, we just need to substitute the value of x. Let's begin by substituting the value of x which is equal to 9. So when x is 9, therefore this segment is equal to 9 centimeters. And this longer segment is equal to 1 centimeter. By looking at the figure and the length of our segments, we could say that this value of x which is equal to 9 because 1 centimeter looks longer than the other segment which is 9 centimeters. Now let us try to substitute the value of x which is equal to 1. So if x is 1, therefore this segment is equal to 1 centimeter and the other segment is equal to 9 centimeters. Therefore, the solution that we're looking for this figure is x equal to 1. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. If you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to update you on my next video.